Let's see how EFT works with motivation. So let's start with a setup statement. Uh, if you're lacking motivation, a setup statement might be as simple as, even though I'm not feeling motivated, I completely and fully love and accept myself. So let's try that. Remember, you find the sore spot, which is a couple of inches down from your shoulder or your collarbone, <laughs> a couple of inches down from your shoulder or your collarbone, and a few inches um, in, about midway between your arm and the center of your chest or your sternum. You'll know it because it's going to be what they call a sore spot. So find the sore spot that's in the center of the left side of your chest between your uh, arm and your sternum and a couple inches down from your shoulder. It's going to be a little sore, that's why it's called a sore spot. And rub it in a clockwise direction gently as you repeat your setup statement three times. Even though, and I do suggest you do this out loud, even though I'm not feeling motivated, I completely and fully love and accept myself. Even though I'm not feeling motivated, I completely and fully love and accept myself. Even though I'm not feeling motivated, I completely and fully love and accept myself. Great. Now you do not have to believe your setup statement. You may not be feeling particularly loving and accepting, and that's perfectly okay. So now we'll go to the tapping sequence. During the tapping sequence, you want to repeat a shortened version of your setup statement. So you could use um, not feeling motivated. That would be perfectly fine. And at each of the points, you're going to tap five to seven times. I like to use two fingers. It covers a little more ground, and I know I've got the point. So let's begin not feeling motivated outside of the eye not feeling motivated, under the eye, not feeling motivated, above the lip, not feeling motivated, below the lip, not feeling motivated. The collarbone point, about an inch down from your collarbone, not feeling motivated. Under the breast, not feeling motivated, and under the arm, not feeling motivated. Now we're going to go to the finger points. The outside at the base of the nail on the thumb, not feeling motivated. Not feeling motivated. Not feeling motivated. For some reason we don't need to do the ring finger. Not feeling motivated. And then the karate chop point, not feeling motivated. Now we'll go to the nine gamut. This is a series of moves that activates different parts of the brain and helps clear them. Start by finding the gamut point which is on the back of your hand, and you can use either hand, between the pinky and the ring finger and just go down into that crevice about halfway down the palm. Start tapping there and continue tapping as you follow this sequence. Start tapping, close your eyes, open your eyes and you're still tapping, cast your eyes hard down to the right, pardon me, you don't move your head, hard down to the right, hard down to the left. Now roll your eyes in a clockwise direction and then counterclockwise. Now hum a few bars of something. Happy birthday works great. <laughs> Count to five rapidly. One, two, three, four, five. And hum happy birthday again. <laughs> now we're going to repeat the tapping sequence one more time. Not feeling motivated inside of the eyebrow. Not feeling motivated not feeling motivated, 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 not 
feeling motivated, not feeling motivated, not feeling motivated, not feeling motivated, not feeling motivated, not feeling motivated. As I said to one of my clients, it could be that this works just because you feel so goofy by the end of the sequence that you can't help but feel better. Now stop at this point and check in and see how you're doing on a scale of 1 to 10 with respect to not feeling motivated. So if before you began, perhaps you were at a 7 or an 8, just check in and see where you are now. If it's dropped to 2 or 1, you can move on to something else. If you're still above 2, say you're feeling a 3 or a 4 or even higher, that's fine. All that means is that there's another aspect of the problem that wants to be cleared.